All right, so this is the Carl Fisher Ballad Horn. It comes with two mouthpieces. This one, which is more cornet sized, and this one, which is a trombone ish mouthpiece. Uh, this is a con, and the smaller one is a York and Sun. So, this has three bits that it comes with the straight bit, which puts it in C, and then there's the short crook. That puts it in uh, B flat and high pitch, so for period bands. And then this, which puts it in B flat low pitch. So this is what you'd use for if you're a baritone player or if you don't feel like learning C. Uh, this thing is really a sweetheart in C. Since I've got this one in it, I'll play it in B flat and I'll use the larger one. And I'll kind of go through both of these. That's uh, kind of what that sounds like. And we'll change mouthpieces now. So this is the cornet-like mouthpiece. <laughs> Not gonna pedal tone out right now. Sorry. So that's that crook. Turn this fan on. And there's the shorter one. And since I just got done playing two at rehearsal, I'm gonna keep using the spare tone mouthpiece because it's easier. <laughs> So as far as how to hold this, I kind of go back and forth between two ways. The one thing that's neat about it is you can put your hand in here and tune it like a French horn. If you really wanted to. Uh, a lot of time, because this is, if anybody doesn't know, the flute, this is designed sort of in the flugel family. Uh, it kind of comes from the Kulo horn. Um, anyway, it's a flugel-like instrument. So it's got a smaller bell diameter. It's not super flared. Um, anyway, so I, I'll end up holding it like this sometimes. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. But uh, as I was saying before, truly, it sings in the key of C. And usually I will play with the smaller mouthpiece. <laughs>
So that is the ballad horn. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, send a uh, message or leave a comment.